So I watched the Five Nights at Freddy's movie a few days ago, and it was good. I'd even say it's pretty good. I might spoil a few things here and there, so keep that in mind, and... Yeah, I guess let me just explain the whole story of this movie. So our main character, Mike, basically works at this mall, but due to some incident, he basically has to basically get a new position. So this random guy that you probably do or don't know who he is, basically offers that he should work at this, like, pizzeria and be a security guard. But at first, he doesn't take it, but later on does. And that's basically it for the plot. I think the movie does a pretty good enough job taking the first FNAF game and trying to turn it into a movie. The characters in this movie are pretty solid. I like the character of Mike, and I do kind of feel bad for him. What you need to know is that he's basically trying to look for his missing brother and tries to, like, get more answers as the movie goes on. But when he gets what he wants, he just doesn't want it, and I do kind of feel bad for him in the end. In the end, he comes to a realization and says he's gonna try to change for the better. It's pretty simple, but it works. There's also, like, two more other characters I gotta bring up, like his sister, cousin Abby. She's fine enough. I do like some of the scenes she has with Mike. That's really all I can say. And then there's Vanessa, who is arguably a more interesting character here than her game counterpart. Somehow they turned a generic security guard character into an actual character I actually kinda like. There's also a few other characters I forgot to bring up, like these guys that break into Freddy's. I don't really know why they do that, and I kinda just forget why they did that to begin with, and I don't even really know why. So getting away from all of that stuff, let's actually talk about Freddy and his group of friends. Their designs are actually pretty good. They stay pretty faithful to the original game, and I like the little red eye aesthetic they have. I do like the explanation the movie gives for why the animatronics are all hostile and, like, murder people. Not gonna get into why that is, but it does put a weird little FNAF 1 headcanon in my mind for whatever reason. I kinda wish they went a bit more heavy on the kills in this movie, cause some of them kinda feel like they're censored. Like, there's like two in here I actually like. So Chica's cupcake basically just eats an entire guy's face off, and this transitions into a scene that I actually find kinda funny. Now I should get into talking about the design of the pizzeria. It's good. Not gonna say it's like amazing, but it's good. It gives the original design of the original pizzeria from the first game a bit more flair to it. So like any video game movie, there's a few references in it. Not a lot, but they're, they're nice. There's a nice reference to this FNAF animatronic that basically was like this urban legend, but is literally just in the movie as like this broken down animatronic. I think that's cool that he's now somewhat canon to the series now. So that's basically it for my review. The FNAF movie is pretty good, and I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. It was gonna be an 8 out of 10, but I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. So that's basically it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.